Good morning. Welcome to Volume 2, Issue 18 of Coffee with Kira. Or Tea with Kira. Mm. Got some vanilla chai going today, which makes me think of fall, which is the opposite of the season we are in, but I love fall. I miss fall. I wish it was fall. But I'm going to get some cold weather this weekend. Uh, Jamie and I are going backpacking up in um, the Caribou Wilderness, which is east of Lassen National Park. Um, should be a good trip. It will be chilly, which will be really nice. It hasn't been super hot here, but it's coming and I'm not looking forward to it. So, uh, I'm going to be excited to be bundled up and cozy in my sleeping bag and then get to hike in some 50, 60 degree weather. It'll be lovely. So as, uh, as this releases, as you see this video, we will be up in the mountains somewhere. So I'm recording this on a Friday um, before, before we start our half days of work. We're gonna head out after that, so um, should be fun. We have not gone backpacking together. Um, I've actually only technically been once or twice, a couple of times. He's been more than me, <laughs> which is ironic because I was gonna hike the PCT and I got like all this fancy gear, and then I never went. And then uh, he's been using my gear more than I have, so we won't, we won't talk anymore about that. Um, I have, I don't have any, I don't have any guilt. No, none whatsoever. Uh, knitting news, I finished a sock, well, almost, it doesn't have a heel. I made a sock for myself. It has kind of a little waffle pattern on it. I think I may have shown these before. Um, but you can kind of see the pattern comes up to like an arrow and that's this is about where the heel is going to be So this would like come up on the leg So I'm going to do the heel in the same kind of pink as the cuff and I have A second one started I started this in December these socks and just have been distracted ever since But I'm actually working diligently to finish them now so that I can get some new socks on the needles. Um, yeah, I will probably bring that project with me um, backpacking. So, yes, yes I will, Bonobles. Yes I will. Hi. Um, I don't have any art to show. I have a blue canvas over here that's not terribly exciting. I did start a painting, at least. Um, what do you see out there? The cat's very distracting. She's very cute. Um, yeah, so I at least started a painting. Uh, I should make more progress on it next week. Um, goal is to have a couple of pieces done to switch out some art at 1011 Coffee because I sold four paintings, uh, which is very exciting. And, um, 10 to 11 doesn't have like a set end date so i'm just gonna switch them out with some new work um so yeah that's exciting um oh the biggest news which if you're not following me on instagram you may have missed um i'm pregnant so i finally get to announce that we had our first appointment of course the ultrasounds in the other room i'll put a picture of it um we had our first appointment and ultrasound last Monday and it was super, super exciting to get to hear the heartbeat and you could even like see the little heartbeat, which is really cool. Um, yeah, little, little bean. It's the size of an olive, but Jamie hates olives. So it's the size of a strawberry, according to those little charts. Olives and strawberries are vastly different sizes, but um, it's it's just about an inch long now. So 
It's very exciting. It's growing so fast. Oh yes, there's there's Venobles. Checking out her new hammock. I got them a, a window hammock for my studio. Oh, speaking of studio, I, you probably this is all new. Da 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 da. And my little twinkle lights. And I put up a shelf, which is exciting because then I can unpack some boxes and things. Um, I'm. We're, we need to get a bookshelf for... Oh, stop that. Stop shaking the camera. Oh, made it worse. We need to get a bookshelf for... Um, oh, we're calling the baby Lemon because we're going to wait to find out what the sex is and we're going to wait to share our actual name picks. But Lemon is the working title. So um, I need to get a bookshelf for Lemon's room so I can unpack all of my comic books and kids' books. And I will just keep them in there. Um, some of the comic books I'll keep on higher shelves because... They're not all age appropriate. Um, I may just move them in here at some point, but it seems like a good place to put comic books and definitely a good place to put all the kids' books. Uh, we need to get another bookshelf and then we can finally unpack the rest of the boxes. It'll happen. Actually, I, I might still, I got a bunch of like boards and brackets to put shelves up like along the ceiling. I think I may have mentioned this project that has been since abandoned since I became pregnant and just felt like doing nothing. So I either use the materials I already purchased, which is probably the responsible thing to do, or just get a bookshelf. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so that's what's that's what's new with me. Uh, that's what's new with us. That's the big exciting, super exciting news. That I've been dying to share. Um, expect baby knits in the future. Uh, I did start a blanket but I'm very not happy with the color choices. I think also like I, I liked the colors when I first started it but then my morning sickness was super mild and didn't last more than a couple of weeks but the thought of working on that blanket makes me sick. And I think it may just be association or something. Maybe the colors really do make me sick. But <laughs> either way, I need to find a different color combo for that blanket. And I will 100% be using the yarn separately for some other project. Because I still really like the colors on their own. Just together is a little intense. So. Yeah, that's really all I have to share. Um... I mean, all. That's all I have to share. New life. No big deal. Um, oh, other announcements. Mother May I, if you're Chico local, Mother May I Sip and Shop is coming up this Saturday. I think it's going to be a really fun event. Um, I, of course, can't enjoy the cider because I'm pregnant, but if I wasn't pregnant, I would, and not vending, I think I would go just to like hang out and drink cider. So um, it's at the Lassen Cider Works or Lassen Cider Brewers, I don't know, Lassen Cider. They're, if you look them up, you'll find them. They're kind of on the way to Durham. Um, and yeah, if you're local, I would love to see you there. It's from noon to five. It's gonna be a lot of food, um, lots of vendors, it'll be fun. So that's the next market. And then I'm actually going to start up doing Thursday night markets here in Chico, which is exciting. Um, and I'm in the next Divine Sundays market, which I think is the 22nd of May. So lots of markets coming up. I think I'm going to, I'm going to do the Thursday night markets for as long as I can. And then, uh, they end in September and then I will probably do Divine Sundays, maybe under Flume Street. We'll play it by ear. It's getting hot out there. I don't like the heat. Um, and I imagine I especially won't like the heat as a pregnant person. So anyway, I've rambled long enough. I hope you are well. I would love to hear how you're doing. Please hit reply and tell me how you're doing. What's new with you? What plans you have for the summer? Uh, if you have any camping trips or backpacking trips or vacation trips or whatever. Summer is almost here. I know it's only, well, what is it, May 1st at the time that this is released? Yeah, so, but like school is ending, you gotta make those plans. 
tell me what they are. I love to hear about plans. All right. <laughs> I will talk to you later. I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday, great rest of your week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.